You know, actually in uh, 1952, I graduated high school and I was signed up to play professional baseball with the Brooklyn Dodger organization. And all I wanted in life was to be a baseball player. And I played six years of minor league baseball. And I was pretty good, but pretty good doesn't make you much money in baseball. And about my fourth or fifth year, I began to uh, throw baseballs in at, at 90 miles an hour and they came back at me at 95. And I decided I had to get something better to do. And I had been to a chiropractor when I played in Macon, Georgia. And he had helped my neck and shoulder tremendously. And I'd always been interested in being a chiropractor. So I went on to college. I played another year of ball while I was in college. I got out of college in 1961. I came back to Valdosta, Georgia, because that's where I had played my first year of professional baseball. And I'd like the town. There were only two chiropractors here, and I felt like it was the right thing to do. I rented a little office on William Street. Had three rooms, no air conditioning. And a lot of times in working on my patients, I'd drip a little sweat on them, but they, they overlooked it. Uh, later on, after seven or eight years, I was able to build my first office on Gordon Street. And it was a huge office. We had five or six treatment rooms. The practice grew, our uh, reputation grew pretty good because we had done a lot of things right, helped a lot of people. And in uh, the late 80s, early 80s actually we built a great big place on Northside Drive that was big enough for two doctors and it was the biggest place I could ever possibly use and it was okay for 25 years and the practice continued to grow Dr. Register came on board we got bigger and bigger we moved across the street and built a huge 9,000 square foot office we had 13 treatment rooms and almost immediately we began to fill them up and things got bigger and better and uh, we got more into the wellness concept of health and started adding massages and nutrition and uh, all the good things to get well and we built this new place where we are right now. This is called the Wellness Concepts Building. It has big massage rooms, it has a ladies workout place, it has a uh, health and, and wellness lecture room where we have people come in from out of town and, and lecture thing and that's where we are today chiropractic has come a long ways we're in the wellness business we're in the healthcare business we're in the natural healing business uh, enjoy this website if you got any doubts or any questions about anything we say give us a call what's perhaps the most important aspect of chiropractic care uh, if I had to pick one thing I'd say if they come to our office seeking our care ask our advice, we tell them what we think they need to do to get well, whether it be what we do or what they do at home or what time of exercise or what things to avoid or what to add to their diet or their exercise program. If they do what they're supposed to do, over 90% of them are gonna get better. Has there been significant changes in chiropractic care? Well, let me give you the best example. In 1961, I opened up my office with $1,500 worth of equipment. And now we got about a half million dollars worth of equipment sitting over there. Uh, everything we do has upgraded. We have uh, tremendous x-ray facilities. And we, we develop an x-ray in three minutes. We're ready to go to work on people. Uh, the tables we use, the treatment procedures we use, the uh, electric muscle therapy machines that we use, these are all state-of-the-art uh, equipment things. Everything we have is it's just really nice, good, neat stuff. It's fun to go to work. You know, when I go to work every morning, it's kind of like walking into Disneyland because we have so many different people with so many different ailments that we're able to help. You know, Oliver Wendell Holmes was one of the smartest guys in the world and he's quoted a lot of times and he has two health quotes I love. And one of them was that if all the medicine in the world were thrown in the ocean, it would be all the better for mankind and all the worse for the fish. The second one he liked, and this is true, he, he really did say that. When you go to a doctor, a medical doctor with an ailment, you've got to recover twice. You know, once from the ailment and once from the medicine he gave you. And we see this so often. So many of our, our new patients with back problems have pain related to drugs they're taking. I know you've seen thousands of patients. Is there a patient that causes you to smile when you recall their you story? Know, I, I always like to talk about this lady, and, and I won't use her name. She's 87 years old. She lives up in Nashville. I met her about three years ago through her daughter-in-law. 
who was our patient. And she couldn't walk. She came across the parking lot on a, on a walker. And she was an old retired school teacher, just a very sweet old gal. And uh, long story short, she just, she couldn't walk. She had to have that walker. And she lived about a quarter of a mile from her mailbox in Nashville. And what I remember most is after treating her for five or six treatments, she told me that she went out and got her mail for the first time in three years. She used her walker. And now, you know, now she still comes each month for a checkup. But she walks out that mailbox every day, and she's tickled to death. It's just really a lot of fun to be a chiropractor.